Hello everyone and welcome to Network Playroom. So I've been writing a blog of the same name for about a year now and I've decided to make the jump to YouTube. So this is essentially going to be the same thing which is me documenting my study process as I work on my Cisco certifications. And let's get right to it. So I recently I've been studying OSPF and I've kind of found a new approach to learning about the protocol. So instead of just reading theory on a deep or shallow level, I've decided to start looking at the packet structures because that's really how the protocol works on a fundamental level, right? It's routers exchanging packets and making decisions based on the information found inside those packets. So first we're gonna start with the OSPF packet formats. Now I have an image here from the TCP IP guide. It's a great resource, uh, completely free online. You should go look that up. So basically Encapsulated within the IP header is one of five OSPF packet types. And I'm just gonna quickly go over them here, but I will talk about them in more detail in future videos. So number one is gonna be the hello packet. And two is the database description packet and such long names okay three is the link state request okay that's looks a little weird but I hope we can read that uh, four uh, is gonna be the link state update And finally, five is the link state acknowledgement. Hopefully you've heard of these packets before and have a general idea of what they're used for. But again, I will make uh, more videos about these packets in the future. But for now, let's focus on the OSPF header, which is the diagram I have on the screen here. So each packet type begins with an OSPF header, whose format is the same for all packet types. But of course, the OSPF data following the packet header varies according to the packet type. So first, the OSPF version number is identified in this field. Now, OSPF version 2 is going to have 2 in this field. And there is an OSPF version 3, which is created for IP version 6 routing. And we're not going to look at that today. That's going to be another topic for another video in the future. And next, the type field. So this is what I've just listed over here. So it identifies the a packet type. <clears throat> Excuse me. And next, we have the packet length, which is pretty self-explanatory. It is the length of the OSPF packet in bytes, uh, including the header. And then, the router ID is, of course, the router ID of the originating router. So this could be something simple like 1.1.1.1, which is something you might commonly see for router 1 in lab examples. Um, next, we have the area ID, which is, of course, the area from which which the packet originated. And for the backbone, it's gonna be 
area zero or zero slash I'm sorry, zero dot zero dot zero dot zero, depending on which notation you use. Both are valid rep representations of the area ID. Then there is the checksum, which is the standard IP checksum of the entire packet, including the header. Um, next up is the authentication type, which specifies the authentication mode being used. Now here you have three options. Zero is equal to null, which means no authentication. One is equal to simple or clear text uh, authentication. And two is equal to cryptographic authentication, which means uh, MD5. And here, the authentication field ties together with the authentication type. So it's going to include the information necessary for the packet to be authenticated by whatever mode is specified in the authentication type field. So if the authentication type is zero, this field is not examined. And if the authentication type is one, this field contains the password, which is up to 64 bits in length. And if the authentication type is two, the authentication field contains the key ID and the authentication data. And this part is, is really where the packet type specific data comes in. But I'm going to end this video here. So this was just a quick look at the OSPF uh, header format. And we're going to look at these packets in upcoming videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.